Here's a small mini bike. It's a Chinese made bike. It's got a Honda clone motor on there, 49 cc's. This bike here, you start it, it won't keep running. It revs high, then shuts down. It will only start on the choke, so I presume it's a fuel problem. So I'll just start it up here and show you what it does. So whenever you have a problem like that, the first thing you want to do is to remove the carburetor and check that it's clean and that everything is functioning properly. First I'm going to turn the fuel valve to the off position on the fuel tank. Next you'll need to remove both bolts that hold the intake over here and they are a 10 millimeter. Now before you remove the carburetor, make sure you loosen the clamp that holds the air intake boot to the carburetor. Now shake the carburetor loose. You want to pull it from the air breather tube at the back. Now loosen this off. The whole thing's going to slide out like that. Now disconnect the overflow hose from down here. All we have left to do now is to disconnect the fuel line. Sometimes they're a bit stiff to get off, so grab a flat screwdriver and pry the line up. So now let's take our carburetor apart. Now to take the carburetor apart you need to remove the two screws that hold the bowl on here and you'll need a Phillips screwdriver for that. Once both screws are off just take the bowl off and you may have a bit of fuel that's going to come out. Now what I'm going to do with the carburetor and a vise like that I'm going to remove the pin that holds the float in the carburetor. Now because it's kind of pressed in there I'm going to use a small finishing nail and tap lightly. If it's really stuck in there, do not over tap it because you're going to break one of the arms that holds the float. You may have to grab the pin with some needle nose pliers and pull on it on the other side. Now once the pin's out, just remove the float and the needle. And now you also want to remove these jets here. and also remove this one and with a seven millimeter wrench remove this one so overall this carbs not that dirty could be that the old fuel was causing a problem now what we have to do at this point is grab all the jets one by one and make sure that all the holes in them are clean so run a small wire from a twist eye. Some of them have holes that even a twist tie wire sometimes doesn't even want to fit in there. So check all these little holes here to make sure that they're all unplugged. It's absolutely necessary that they're all clean. This one looks pretty clean because you can see right through it. Now if your wire won't fit in the center hole here of the jet, you can always put a piece of Tygon fuel line like this and then blow on this end of the fuel line. If you feel the air coming out, then you know that the hole's clean. On this jet here, you want to make sure that the center is clean like that, all these little holes. You can also put the Tygon fuel line right here, plug this end and blow in it and all the air should come out of these little holes. And here's the last little jet. We can see that the center of that one is really clean. At this point, all I'm going to do, because it's not that dirty, is spray with carb cleaner, then reassemble it. Spray inside the holes here, wear safety glasses. So now we can begin reassembling the carb, reinstalled the center jet or the emulsion tube. Tighten it up with your 7mm wrench. Next install the small jet that goes on top of that one.
Next install this jet over here. Next grab the needle, insert it inside over here like that on the float and now line it up inside the carburetor like that. Keep your finger here to hold the needle. Now line up the holes and install the float pin. Now to get the pin in, just lightly tap with a small hammer, really light, right up until it's lined up like that. Don't hit it too hard because you may break the arm of the carburetor, then you're going to need to get a new carburetor. Now make sure your bowl is clean inside, put it on this way, it only goes on one way. And now tighten up both screws evenly at the bottom so we do not have any air leaks that way. And remember to not over tighten these screws because you could easily strip the threads. Now that the carburetor is clean and I don't see anything wrong with it, I'm going to reinstall it. First of all, I'm going to reinstall the throttle lever here. Insert it in this way. The thin hole here will go on the left side of the carb. It's going to slide down in there. Next, you want to hook up your fuel line. Now the next thing you need to do is to fit the back of the carburetor into the air filter intake boot right here. Once that's in the intake boot, you want to line up the two holes here and install the two bolts that go down there. Now realign the overflow hose into the clip here. And don't forget to tighten up the air filter breather clamp back here. All you need for that is a Phillips screwdriver. Now make sure that your fuel valve is in the on position. So now that the carburetor is all reinstalled, let's put some gas in this bike, try it out and hope that it works good. Let's try it out. Well, it's time to take it for a ride. Runs good. It's a quiet little bike. Not bad for a Chinese little bike like that. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.